Hi, I'm Jenna with Chief Architect. In this video segment, I'm going to show the new features in Chief Architect X11, which include a new fill style painter and the ability to store your user catalogs on the cloud. Let me start with a new library option. In the last version of Chief Architect, we added a location setting for system libraries, core, bonus, and manufacture, to be stored on a network or the cloud. In X11, we extended the same ability for user libraries to be stored on a network or cloud account. As you import new library catalogs, they will automatically be highlighted and selected in the library browser for easier identification. When you add an item to the library, like a cabinet, you can use the Add to Library As, allowing you to choose individual components, the main object, hardware, fixtures, millwork, and materials to store in the library. And you can now open and edit properties of objects you add to the library, such as this cabinet and other parametric objects. When importing a new texture image for a material, a copy of the referenced file will be automatically stored in your user data folder, so if you delete or move the image, a copy will remain in your chief library. Our fill patterns have new sizing controls for both horizontal and vertical offsets. And patterns and fill styles are now integrated into the library. As you browse to this new folder, you can now apply these fills by clicking to enable the new Fill Style Painter. The Fill Style Painter has the scoping tools to help target how you apply fills to CAD objects. As you edit individual objects, such as a backsplash, you can browse to the library and apply the patterns from the new catalog. You can convert and save your favorite patterns to the library, and they will retain edit properties like color, scale, and orientation. Give them a custom name and use them for future projects. When importing an image for a material, such as a tile, a new Pattern from Texture is available to generate pattern vector lines to better match 2D patterns for custom tiles and other unique material surfaces. The new tool includes simple and advanced thresholds to create the pattern. We have made it easier to keep materials in sync between render and vector views with the new Synchronize Pattern and Texture Offsets setting. As you make changes to one, it is extended to the other and you can define the material list calculation that is separate from the pattern display. It might be you are using a tile pattern but want an area calculation for square footage. Plan materials now display a full preview of materials with normal and bump maps. And in the material defaults dialog, you can multiple select items to make group edits. With the Convert Selected Items to Symbol tool, you can convert one or more 3D objects to a symbol and store it in the library. Also, for symbol editing, we have added a visual stretch plane and bounding box. This interactive display makes it easy to define an object's behavior for resizing. Color themes have been added in Preferences under Colors. You can choose from built-in color themes, create your own custom themes, and share them with export and import. There are several great new features in Chief Architect X11, and you can expect to see it in early 2019. And remember, all new software purchases include upgrades for the first year. So if you're not currently a customer, get started with Chief Architect today.